we focus on the integration of nanotechnology with oncology, imaging, and cancer biology to, in essence, develop impactful therapeutics and also imaging agents. Nanotechnology gives a unique advantage over current conventional small molecule therapeutics, which I call them little lunatics. You can control where they go, and that's the biggest problem when you are giving, in essence, poisons to treat cancer. Today's therapies consider cancer as a monolith, but cancers consider of cells that evolve at any given time, at any given space. So nanoparticles, if you tweak them appropriately in both terms of biochemical and biophysical terms, you can actually consider those spatiotemporal changes of cancers and go after them. So you can have very site-specific, precise targeting of the disease. We are most interested in the most lethal cancers, so we work on adult and pediatric brain tumors. Delivery of the therapeutics is the biggest barrier. We are in the hospital. That gives us the advantage of actually rubbing our shoulders in a natural, organic way with the oncologist. A few years ago, we invented a new class of nanotechnology-based therapeutics called nanochains. In essence, what this is, is that you make a multi-component nanochain. That's how we call the particle, because it has a chain-like shape. So you take individual spheres and you modify them in a way that they resemble a building block of Lego. And you can start putting one after the other. And you form this nanochain that can have different types of particles with different functions. The overall shape enhances that site-specific targeting of the disease. The multifunctionality allows you, for example, to have a tail that interacts with an external radio frequency field. Once that nanochain goes and finds very specifically the target, then you apply the radio frequency field and you burst that nanocarrier on your command and you allow now the drugs to penetrate in a very site-specific way into the disease site.